My dad will always be in my heart. He's just inspirational to me and he's my hero. Burrow, dancing steps by him, and off he goes! Just thinking of my dad and how much he loves sports and how he was a very fast runner and I, and I want to be like him. And I want to do him proud. I did write a biography on him at school. When he was born, it was the 26th of September, 1982. And he grew up with two siblings, Claire and Joe, and his parents, Irene and Jeff. And he loved rugby as a kid. And even though he was small, he was quite powerful. This is a sensational try. There are many in Super League that can do that. I've been very lucky to be involved in a, you know, a special group of players throughout my career, and uh, you know, this is the, uh, the fairy tale ending. In the end, he had a total of winning eight man finals and 20 international caps. Rob Burrow is facing his toughest challenge yet after being diagnosed with motor neurone disease. I suppose you have your good days, your bad days, but um, yeah. inspires me of how he keeps going and he'll keep fighting till, till his last breath. I have too many reasons to live. I'm not giving in right till my last breath. That's my dad. Yeah, I don't want you falling off them before school and breaking a leg or something. I'm a prisoner in my own body. That is the way MND gets you. The lights are on, but no one is home. I think like you, but my mind doesn't work right. I can't move my body. Life was, was perfect, you know, we had everything. We had nice holidays, three beautiful children. What more could we ask for? And, um, and I think sometimes, looking back now, you, you don't realise those little things and how important those things are. And, and until something affects you like MND, that's just completely changes because, you know, suddenly, you, you know, life is never going to be the same again. I could not be any more proud of my kids. They are living their best lives and I couldn't ask for any more from them. I love my wife and kids more than anything and that will make me more determined to be alive. Is that for the uh, music extravaganza? Next Monday, in the last school, we, we have the trans transition day. What's the transition day? It's where you go into a different class today to get used to your new teachers. Oh, yeah. I got, I got a bit Going through the jungle. Oh, All right, letting us go. Thank you. There we go. There we go. In we go, kids. Oh. It kills me seeing Lindsay juggling everything because that was such a hands on dad. You hate to see your wife with the burden of doing it alone. <laughs> You're like a dingle dangle scarecrow. I think I would have broken down if it was me, but Lindsay has this unwavering patience with everyone. We're going to go 
swimming this morning, take Rob to the pool and then um, be time to pick Jackson up, dinner time and then we'll be back up at school to pick the girls up. There's, um, there's not always enough hours in the day sometimes but it's, it's all good, um, keeps, keeps us busy. going swimming because it is good for my movement and Linz can do some more exercises than with me because she is a physio. I find it easier to walk in the pool and the water makes it not as uncomfortable on my joints which are very stiff from the lack of use. First, when Rob was diagnosed, I was the one that would break down in tears and, and Rob would be, you know, pull yourself together, Lindsay, you know, we, we can get through this. And he's just so positive and it just ripples through the whole family. There was never anyone else for me, to be honest. So I think, you know, just because Rob was Rob and um, he treated me like a princess and there was never anybody, ever anyone else that I was ever going to marry. So I think probably from the, from the start, you know, it's a cliche, isn't it, love at first sight, but um, I think that's true. He always says, find somebody else, you know, you're still young, but there will never be anyone else. No one can ever take Rob's place. your flower on the top and then you've got to roll it out. Look at that, it looks like an alien. <laughs> Just just opening it for you, buddy. I'll be opening it, I'm just going to spot everywhere and then see you. No, I'm not going to open it. Daddy's okay. mm. come to see you making your pizza, look. Are you impressed, Rob, with the cooking? Would you like to put an order in? <laughs> I could not ask for a better help than my beautiful wife, Lindsay. I know when you get married, you say that you will be there in sickness and in health. I did not think she signed up to look after me so soon. Get one in a minute, Prophet. She is my very own superhero and I could not be alive without her help with everything. I love her so much, but I know she did not sign up for this. I still wish it went to Domino's. Oh, that's got to be safe. Where <laughs> I don't know where you get it from. It's not me. <laughs> the first time I met Rob, I had said to him at the end of the consultation, it's an honour to look after you. I think we have a relationship of trust and mutual respect and uh, lots of laughter in clinic. So uh, it's, it's really lovely actually looking after him. So are you using the ventilator overnight? Intermittently. <laughs> I don't think he particularly likes having it on, so we tend to do sort of one night on, one night off. Yeah, so. yeah. I don't mind, it gets uncomfortable for my big nose. <laughs> Did it get broken many times? No, I think it's his, <laughs> on his granddad's side, isn't it? The Bateman nose. Oh. Um, I think, yes, yeah. <laughs> and how's the eating and drinking going on? I'm never full. I'm never we can't fill him yeah. at the minute, despite, you know, yeah. puddings and custard. I know in the past you've said no 
to assisted nutrition discussions. No, don't waste your time. <laughs> <laughs> These responses get and better. I was better waiting for that time. one. <laughs> right, let's have a look at you. I'm just going to get my little tendon hammer. Motor neuron disease is a extremely cruel condition. One finger, keep your head steady. Follow this with your eyes. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Look up and down here. Yeah, you're moving your head. Drop. <laughs> yeah, look. Same <laughs> And down here and keep looking. You may not be able to speak, you may not be able to swallow, you may not be able to breathe independently. And of course, you can have weakness in your arms and legs. And all of this leads to, to dependency and, uh, and a reduced lifespan. It is a life-limiting condition. I know that the last time we briefly spoke about, you know, advanced care planning and at that point you felt that that was not something that you would want to visit then but I think I'll let those discussions be had. Is that okay? I'm not going to see him. <laughs> okay, yeah. So how do I have the conversation around death? It's there in the patient's mind. It's there in the family's mind. Everybody's afraid to ask that question. And if I do not bring the topic up, that conversation will never happen. I know that you met Dr. Lowe last year and at that point, you know, you both had a conversation with her and that was quite a frank conversation. And you felt that, um, if as, as time went by and if things became really tough, then at that point you would want to go to a hospice. I'm not happy to talk about this. Yeah, yeah. And I understand that and we don't need to talk about it also uh, just yet. When you were playing rugby, did you go for any game with like advanced planning of like, this is where I'm going to be nutritionally, this is where I'm going to be mentally, emotionally? Every game. Every game. <laughs> so I'm not too different from you then, am I? <laughs> planning everything, wanting to know what you would want for yourself mm -hmm. and just making sure that I'm doing right by you, we are all of us are doing right by you. So that's what these conversations are about, really. I would not plan for six games away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Always cheeky today, isn't it? <laughs> 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 I think I think that's the yeah. That, that. <laughs> oh, good lord! I <laughs> get that, Rob. <laughs> it's really difficult to have those conversations with Rob because um, I like to plan. I like to be organised. Rob doesn't like to talk about the future, and and it's really difficult because you don't want to upset Rob. But it's important for me that I know his wishes and I know what Rob wants. Um, so we have had those difficult conversations um, and I know what Rob wants. I'm trying not to think about the end because I can't imagine a world without Rob. Um, and I think about the children and you know what effect it'll have on them and I'm sorry. Can you be sat up? Of course. To be quite honest with you, Jeff and I feel a lot better when he's with us. And we can see that he's, he's fine. That makes us feel fine. 
and uh, we just love having him. Right, so you've got cottage pie or you've got sausage and mash. What do you fancy, the cottage pie? Yeah, cottage pie. <laughs> when we're not with him, we worry so much. We wait for them. Little text messages come in. Uh, make sure he's up on the morning and we know he's all right. He sends us a message every day. He's such a, you know, a funny person. <laughs> And we won't want him any different. We don't want him to change. He's, he's just a lovely lad. To make sure I don't burn his mouth. <laughs> I've done that more than once, haven't I, Rob? <laughs> he's got a smirk on his face, hasn't he? He's up to something, yeah. He's going to say something about me. I know what it is. We have to use this little wooden spoon, don't we, Rob? Because metal ones, he bites them. Frightened he's going to damage his teeth which you've done before, haven't you? We used a metal spoon. <laughs> he kept biting it and I were pulling and then his crown came off. <laughs> so you've got to be careful. She does have a gob on her. How? <gasps> How rude. Oh dear. Don't worry, I'll get him back. He can tell what sort of mood you're in, you know, and he'll, he'll crack a joke or tell us to stop being silly and why are you looking so sad? Why, are you, you know, but at the end of the day, it's, it's still our boy. I think the relationship with my parents is stronger than ever. Before I had a Mendy, you just take the kids up for an hour a couple of times a week. Now I don't need them for everything and it is like I am their kid again, relying on them again. And especially when Lindsay is at work, I spend more time than I than I would have done and I think it helps them cope looking after me, especially my dad who really struggles. You'll notice that um, Irene's virtually doing everything. I'm, but if when you do your editing, if you could just try and make it appear as though. <laughs> That's because I do, Jeff. <laughs> you do. <laughs> when Rob's okay, I'm okay. He's just doing what Rob's always done, smiling, getting on with things, um, telling us off now and again, uh, telling me I'm a wimp. So just, just like normal, really. <laughs> Need to just stand him up now. Ready? Yeah, two, three. Why am I looking so sad and all this when, you know, I, didn't, I don't think I'm looking sad, but um, he must see something. But and it, it, it doesn't half kick you up the bum when he, you know, when he uh, when he tells you off. There we are, Rob. Head back. These are, are magnets. He's sending some sort of magnet Sig signal magnetism into it. through his. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. One of the benefits to think it does is to reduce it inflammation. I feel more relaxed and it takes the tightness out of my hands. Yeah, it says there's help in the body to relax and increase movement, function yeah. and activity. Irene and, and Lindsay in particular, they're so strong and um, I'm not as strong. Um, 
to lift it. Do you think if we don't want to have on here? I've got the back of it here. One, two, three. Much weight on you, aren't you? Look at that. It used to be a 32 waist. Well, I hope that's comfortable enough for you. Don't worry, I'm not going to tip you out, alright? Uh, Rob Burrow. Um, where do we start? Absolute legend. Um, so inspiring. I think everybody remembers him and thinks of him now as what we've seen over the last two years. But you've probably got to go way back. Burrow, off he goes! Seventh try of the afternoon. Pound for pound, probably the strongest player we had in the squad. Honoured to have, have played alongside him. This is Burrow. Back to the middle again. Sinfield, short and flat. Kev is much more than a friend. He is a big brother in many ways. I love him like family and so do my entire family. The stress he puts on his body for me is amazing. How could you not like the guy? Thanks Kev for everything you have done for me and people with MND. What MND has, has brought to him and the family and how he's been so inspiring to the MND community and to see the effect he's had on so many people is, is an absolute champion. Three, two, one, go! Best of luck, guys. I think without the, you know, the likes of Kev, um, you know, with, with his crazy challenges, again, just raising the awareness has, has been, it's just put MND on the map and it's brought it to the forefront of, you know, of people's mind. Well, we'll navigate it first band anyway. Well, I was really took back by all fans have rallied around me. I think that is the beauty of our sport. They rally around when one of their own is done. Lots of people now who were once ashamed of being diagnosed with MND, but now that's changed. And that's down to Rob. That's and that's an incredible thing. It's so powerful what he's been able to do. nice how we all help each other because if we didn't have each other I'm not sure how we would get by. All I do is just bring the wheel may I bring the wheelchair forward, would I? Maybe once or twice it's been tricky but I love helping with Jackson and Daddy and even Maya sometimes. Obviously I can't walk or anything so yeah it's a bit I <laughs> know I'm pushing on it. No just hold the wheelchair for me Maya just so it doesn't um once, when Daddy was like trying to lean over, I tried to, um, I tried to like pick him up. Obviously, he's really, really heavy because it's an adult, I'm a, and now I'm only small. They are Macy, Maya, and Jackson Burroughs. <laughs> Sadly, MND has taken away Daddy's mobility, but you continue to make him proud and make him smile every single day. I'm so proud of the children. They are just 
Um, you know, I think Rob's positivity just ripples through the whole family. And I think because Rob is so positive, they just, you know, it just beams off the children and they're not, don't look for pity. They, you know, they just carry on with life and they're just so full of joy and, and they're just a bundle of fun to be around. <laughs> Been marvellous ever since he was born. So proud in everything he's done before sport and then watching him play sport and now watching Rob battle MND and uh, just as proud in this this battle. In fact, more proud than, than any other sort of uh, time we've watched Rob. What he's doing uh, makes us so proud. I'm so lucky to be Rob's wife, despite the situation that we're in. Would I change things? Of course I would. Um, but we can't change things, so we just have to make the best of it and enjoy every moment that we have together. Um, but yeah, it's, it's devastating. It's heartbreaking. Get you by without having to take that out. Um, okay, are we ready? One, two, three, big stand chant. One, two, three. Up we come. There we go, mate. Okay, up we go. Mm. Good lad, that's it. That's it, and again, we're a big step. Mm. That's it. I just I can't imagine um, Rob not being here um, and Maurice, the children, you know, how, how will they manage, how will they cope? But I know the legacy that Rob's left will, you know, stand the test of time and they have so much to be proud of Rob for and, you know, they're so lucky to have him as a dad, but equally, I know he will be taken away from them. I promise you, Rob, that I will look after those children and... I had no idea how my family would react the more was taken away from me. It seems as though they have become a beacon of hope for families in the same situation as us. I'm determined to get better and I look at all the reasons I've got to live. He's still fighting strong today. Rob loves his family and spends every second with them. He will never give up until his last breath. Even though m and is taking his life away, he is thankful his children are healthy. In conclusion, he has left a mark on this world.